Hey everybody, this is Desiree, and today is going to be kind of a quick um, video, I think, and just outlining what I'm going to be using in terms of journals for 2022. Nothing has really changed except for the addition of the William Hanna uh, ring binder, which um, I briefly mentioned um, in my currently inked, and I will go through that today. But I have my Hoonichi um, Cousin of Ek right now in my Galen leather cover, and this is the natural. And um, I ordered this, gosh, several months ago. I wasn't using it for a lot of last year because I had uh, decorated my Hobonichi um, cousin cover, and I just, and it was getting so bulky, um, so I left it out. But for right now, um, I have it in here. It's not so bulky yet. Um, this has a lot of room for pens. It also has another slot that you can put um, several pens, four or five pens in, but I don't typically use it because even though it fits um, when this isn't so thick, it really is bulky. And I will be doing, of course, um, a flip for uh, January here in a little bit. So that is Hobonichi Cousin Evec. I'm still using my currently inked passport size um, booklet. And I like this, um, it works well for me. Um, I don't have any tags or anything, I've just been uh, using the pages for the currently inked and for all of the swatches. And I can kind of do some comparisons if I want to on the pages, but, um, but I'm still enjoying that. So I'm gonna continue with that one. I have a lot of extra notebooks as I need them and it is a uh, Tomoe River paper from Goulet Pens. And I'm continuing with the Traveler's Notebook, my second Traveler's Notebook, which I really love still. And um, But this is going to continue as a health and wellness journal and also my menu planning and that kind of thing. So most of this is just kind of personal stuff. Um, but I did want to show you how I'm doing these menu plans weekly. Um, so I'm, you know, I keep changing it around. I don't always put in the lunches, but I tend to put the breakfast and dinners in, uh, shopping list, um, for the week. And then I just have, um, you know, pages that with, um, just jotting down information. And, um, in the front section, I usually, um, use that as my swimming log. So that's the traveler's notebook, and I'm going to put in a picture um, from my drawer that is full of traveler's notebook inserts when I used to use this for my, um, for my journaling. And the really good thing about these um, is that they are really easy to store, so you'll see I just have them lined up in this drawer. The Hobonichi... Um, you know, it's just a little bit more bulky. I've got these, I'm starting to set these up right now just on a shelf, my tea cabinet, which I also um, had a picture of. But I, you know, I'm just not, um, I have to find a different place for these. And again, it just makes me wonder if eventually if I'm gonna go back to my, my old standby, you know, traveler's notebook, because um, I just, for a lot of reasons, I just really like how these work um, and how they store. <laughs> so we'll see. So the last thing I wanted to show, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing this yet. And I did a little uh, sneak peek on my currently inked the other day of this, but it's a William Hanna notebook and I'm going to be using it for recipes. And probably it's going to be mostly for YouTube recipes. So many of my, I, I like to cook, I do a lot of cooking, but so many of my, um, the things that I make, A, were recipes long ago that I've modified and made so many times that I already know how to <laughs> do them. B, just things that I, um, you know, get creative with dis depending on what's in the fridge and what is available. So I just, you know, I don't really use recipes anymore uh, for typical main dish um, 
dinners, um, but I do use them for anything new, and most of that is ethnic foods. So if I have a complex Indian dish, if I have a Chinese dish, if I have something like that, a Spanish dish, then, uh, then I look at YouTube and jot things down. Those are the things that I think I will want to include in here. Uh, and some of the, you know, the desserts and, and cookies and things like that for holidays, which I'm not a huge baker, um, but I do have certain ones that are favorites. So this one, I, this was just an idea, um, but I'm going to try, if I do have some kind of ethnic recipe on here, when I make it, I'm going to take a picture with my little sprocket, and, um, and I will try to have a picture in each of the pages here. So... Um, I'm just playing around with it. I haven't started it yet. I want to try to figure out, you know, how best to use it. But again, this is kind of nice. It's a ring binder, but the rings don't open. And you just pull the pages from top to bottom, pull them out, and then you can um, put them in wherever you want them to go. So I think that'll be really nice for this, you know, recipe thing. So yeah, so that's it. Those are the journals I'm going to use. Uh, use. For uh, for 2022 and um, I am going to do a quick December flip now <laughs> mid-January so um, so I was thinking you know it's definitely time uh, so let me see here I'm gonna scoot this down a little bit and I'm gonna go through this really quickly all right, so this day was really fun. It was the first time I ink vent ink, and um, I was playing around with these. So there are a lot of ink vent inks in here um, because you know that was a fun thing to do in December. <clears throat> so again, this is you know third must have been the third day. It was Tempest. Um, oh, this is number six. So anyway. I'm not sure what day that was, <laughs> but I have a lot of those inks in here. This was, um, this was Winter Spice, Candlelight, the, um, the bright yellow. And this was our first live concert um, that we were able to see with my son, who is up at Western Washington University. Um, he's a, um, a music ed. and music performance major and it was so wonderful it was just so nice to be able to see live music again and this was wind symphony which is my favorite and um, this was amazing this I don't know if he was a senior anyway he was the soloist this person Jordan um, was the soloist for this 45 minute piece and it was just amazing so that was really fun it was Maslanka a piece by Maslanka. So we just, you know, we were just having so much fun. I'm actually being live and being able to hear every individual instrument. All right, so continuing on. Um, again, I'm just kind of trying out all these different inks um, that I'm getting each day. But oh, we also saw, not live, but we also saw a performance by the Sketchy Valley Chorale. Um, on Zoom, and it was that was fun. You know, they were um, getting together, but being really cautious. And I really miss singing with them. I sang with them for mm, um, a couple um, semesters, I guess you would call them, a few years ago. And um, maybe someday I'll get back to that um, since I'm retired now and I have more time. <laughs> so. Anyway, these are uh, really cute. This is uh, just a cute uh, little sticker that I got from Pocket Pam Studio. And of course, this other one is from um, Little Raven Ink, um, Courtney. And this one was really pretty too. I don't remember, but I was just having fun <clears throat> getting in the holiday mode. Um, so we're just getting ready to go again. That's my packing list for some of the things. And um, this day we left again. So same old route. We were um, lucky on the way out. It was 
a lot more hairy on the way back. Um, on the way into Colorado, um, into Fort Collins, we stopped at a music store that had a lot of great percussion um, instruments, which my son is interested in now. He's um, doing per percussion performance right now. And so he had a great time there. So that was really fun as we made it into Colorado. And this was, you know, it was just a little bit hard because we were just out there for over a month, um, just a, you know, just a few weeks before this. So we were just trying to get out there with my son this time so that my father could see him. But, um, but it was, you know, it was a little tough. We were trying to um, get in the holiday mode and um, but it was so short we didn't really have time to do a lot or see a lot of people um, this was diamine garland it's definitely a really bright ink um, i forgot to take my um, stand my phone stand with me and i was going to try to do finish up my color by number diamine ink um, holiday tree thing and I did manage to get some of it but um, my husband had to hold the phone for me <laughs> while I was filming it so <clears throat> anyway it was a nice Christmas you know very quiet uh, with my husband's family also they came over to my dad's and we had a nice dinner so that was fun and so we are on the road again here it was pretty hairy, you know, in parts, and a lot of the passes were closed on and off, but we made it through. However, we got in on Thursday and heard about the bizarre, tragic fires in Colorado where a lot of people had to be evacuated and a lot of people lost their homes. Um, we had several friends and family that were either evacuated or uh, on the verge of being evacuated and just kind of waiting to hear. So that was just so bizarre. I mean, things were changing so much and it was so dry there. Uh, it's always, you know, it's just getting hotter and hotter and drier and drier in general there, but it was just so dry the last few months and tremendous wind picked up and there was this huge fire that just destroyed, I don't know how many hundreds of homes. They were just up in flames in a second, so really sad. Um, none of the people that are my immediate family and friends lost their homes. We know of people that lost their homes there, so just really sad for them. So yeah, so that was the last day. We did slip through. Um, it was just kind of, we just had the right windows as we moved through all of the snowy parts of the passes. All in all, the passes were open right when we were going through, so yeah. So it, it worked, and um, we're just kinda glad to be home and settled now for a little bit here. Um, so we probably won't be heading back out there until spring. So I think that's it for now. Uh, I ordered a, um, a new um, flex nib pen and some new ink, so that's coming soon. So I wanna compare that with a couple of the pens. Most of my pens are not flexible at all, but the Conklin I found actually is a little bit of a flex nib, so um, so anyway, do a couple comparisons and I will show you that in another few days here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.